Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down Arena and today we're jumping back into things with our Burn Folk. Uh, we played a little bit of some Fire and Ice on Friday to celebrate the Game of Thrones finale. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, I don't think a lot of people did, but it's over now. So we're going to continue the trend, see if this deck is worth it to play. It performed pretty well, but it didn't win very well the last time we played it. And uh, we're not the only ones playing Burn Folk now. Uh, we even had Nikachu uploading uh, his own version of Burnfolk in Modern. So if you haven't checked out checked out Nikachu yet, make sure to go check out that video on his channel. He is a Merfolk master. Uh, but we're gonna continue waiting. The waiting times have been a little bit longer than usual, but we got a match. We did uh, take out Samut Sprint and put in three shocks and remove one run amok. That's the change that I've done so far. Yeah, we'll keep this. Mm -mm -mm. What do we got? <clears throat> Alright, cool. So, what are we doing here? Hmm. Selesnia, huh? Don't exactly like. Say, let's try to pull into some burn here after we attack. Okay. Well, we should have played that uh, pre combat if that was the case, but we'll take the Wizard's Lightning. So, some form of Celestia. Okay. Oh, well, let's see here. How do we want to run this? Let's go Silver Gill. We'll probably play Mystical Carol, if not Wizard's Lightning. Okay, that's good. So I think we're just gonna pay the two. Swing in. Gain three life, huh? Okay. Well, there's Gideon. That's not good. We're going to have to make quick work of him. So that's not going to be pretty. Hovering over my stuff. Alright, sure. That's fine. We'll go swinging. He's at four. Hmm, okay. I'm gonna hold up all my stuff just to get him off the board. Oh, we can't do it on our turn anyways. Mm. Let's uh let's do another auger. Nothing. Throw this down. Pass to them with Wizards Lightning up. Probably shoot them at end of turn or if any threats come down besides Gideon. Alright, they're just going to do another one of these. I want to make sure their defense is up. not good either. Those are all going to be a thing. Well, let's water trap. 
Swing in for as much as we can here. What did I do? Did I do the wrong one? That's the one I needed. We might just have to burn them out here. Mm, now if they gain four life. No attacks. Pass the turn. There he is. Okay. God's bless us in our righteous cause. I believe in you, friend. Hopping off. Probably just take the four here. Yeah, take the four. And I'm gonna save the lightning strike because I think we're gonna need it for Gideon. Make quick work of him. I surrender. Still not in a great position here, though. Eh, definitely not. None of this is super ideal. Maybe we'll actually go like this. We'll double block here. Yeah, let's do that. We're still taking quite a bit. Well, we gotta go full retail. We can't even go full retail. So, we can't attack. We're just stuck. Ooh, let's see. Oh, it has to be target attacking creature, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, then we should have blocked the Knight of Autumn. But it's alright, we're dead. Let's play one more. Sick of losing. Sick of losing with Merfolk. This hand is fine.
<clears throat> Auto blue tempo. It's actually not what I wanted to do. I was thinking that was the other land. So that's awesome. Playing the Is It Phoenix. Mm -hmm. We're going to hold up Wizard's Lightning. We could see some stuff happen this turn, potentially. Should play Wizard's Lightning before they took out our Augur. Uh, we'll try it again this turn. On a bunch of cards. That's it. Well, that's uh let's go to combat. here. Um, let's take our other Bane Fire. Maybe that's a mistake. But it'll be a good way to close out the game here if we can get another couple lands. Zate, what do we need to do to you? We need to kill you right quick. Solve it first. All righty, pass the turn. <clears throat> 
more land and we can get some uncounterable bane fires going. Uh, it's not quite enough to close out the game here. So I'm guessing this is just a Niv-Mizzet deck, where they just draw cards and ping us away, because we're not seeing any drakes. I'm sure they've got maybe a couple drakes in here, but this is more geared toward the Niv-Mizzet side of things. <clears throat> Come on. Why not? Gonna do. You gonna jump start? Yep. They got beacon bolts. Well, that's gonna hurt us too. They got a lot going on beacon bolts. Oh, no, they can't hit us. It's just a creature. Okay. Electromancer. Hmm. Well, we can uh, try to slow him down a little bit here. Dive down, huh? Okay. We're just going to pass the turn. I really want to close out the game with the Bane Fire if we can, so... Well, that's your last radical idea. Did you find what you were looking for? He's digging pretty, pretty deep. Well, you can let me draw some cards at least. Or take the damage. I'm fine if you take the damage. Oh, fine. Let's try this again. Oh, man, I don't want to discard that. All right, we're just going to pass. Right now, this is the only thing we, we have that can help us finish the game, so... Trickster doesn't even really help us here, so we're going to try this again. May come in handy later, but. Hmm. Okay, well, we can close out the game now, so that's good. Pass to them. And we'll close out the game with Banefire. Just had to play a little patient. Peace. All right, we got one. We got one. A long and drawn out game, but we got one. <laughs> and I'm sick of losing with Merfolk in Arena, man. <laughs> uh, it's been frustrating. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to keep me, uh, if you want to see me keep playing this deck, let me know and leave a like in the the comments and on the video. And uh, I'll keep playing it, you know. But right now it's it's tough for Merfolk, man. It's a tough world in Standard, so. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and uh, stay tuned, subscribe, and we will see you guys 
in the next video.